Today I am finally putting the mesh in or on the uh, the posts and stuff today. So actually putting the fence part together, which is pretty exciting because now we'll be able to lock our children in the uh, play zone and keep them out of the no play zone. Um, chain link. The hardest part I find uh, is tensioning the wire at the bottom. It's hard on your forearms, and I'll probably show you guys how to do that. Um, there's probably easier ways to do it, and there's probably some tools that you can get that make it easier, but the way that I do it isn't very easy. Uh, there's also some, some jigs that you can make up just to make tensioning the mesh easier, which I don't have, but they're only marginally helpful if you're running a commercial type thing and you want to save every single minute you can. So instead I'm just making do with ratchet straps. Uh, I'm pretty rusty on the chain link so nothing's happening too fast but there's there's no rush anyways, right? Wait, there is a rush. Get it done. You building fence too? You building the fence? Show me how it's done. How do you do it, Sam? Hand woven chain link fence. Mm. That's uh, artisanal. Artisanal. <laughs> Gotta tension the mesh. So do that with some straps. There's like a little jig thing that you can have if you're a professional. But I'm not a professional, so I do not have that. So but what is this? Just a ratchet straps. So going past the post that I want the mesh to tighten up against, and then uh, tightening up the mesh, and then you can put the the tension bar through, and then you can cut this extra section off, and it's all, you know, fully tensioned. Yeah, we go past. Coming to help, Sam? Uh, once you get the mesh tightened, Here. you uh, you put the you, you weave this through, 
this tension bar. Okay. And then you put the bands in place to hold the the bar. Here's the nut. I got a nut. Okay. It's got enough strength in my hand to then squeeze the bolt together. Once you get this on and these bands on, and tighten on, then you can just cut this this one right here. The one that doesn't loop back there. And uh, and then this part will be free and this part will be up and tensioned. Otherwise, all that for nothing. There you go. Ooh, completed. Well, not completed, but one second. Well, you still have to tie it down. You gotta do the hog rings that hold the oh. bottom wire to the the mesh. The hard part. And you have to uh, tie the top. And all of the posts get tied as well with little metal ties. And we also have to um, we have to make it so I usually try to make it so that half of the mesh of one of the links there is above the top rail. So we have to dig and kind of shift everything around so that it's all even all the way across. Because if you look down the length of the mesh, there's a there's a rise where there's a bunch of dirt keeping like lifting the mesh up. So the way they make you make uh, the fence look good is if all the lines are perfectly straight, and that kind of takes some, you know, finagling. But for now, I'm just getting the mesh up in place, and because I gotta head out to the lawyer soon. So. so very far from done. Well, not very far from done. Getting there. This is my least favorite part. It's uh, putting the, the bottom wire on and, and tensioning that. So come through. And you you leave a bunch of gap in there because that's what's gonna tighten down. Once you have this hooked on both sides, grab your pliers. And you get your wrist workout. You do the same thing on the other side. But how's that tighten it? Because every time it loops around, it brings the wire in. So, so you see all this gap? It just keeps moving. Like, look on this side. And that takes the slack out. Like, you can see the wire's already getting tighter, right? Yeah. My arms are tired. I already did these ones and those ones over there.
<laughs> Did it stick to you? And still going, still tightening. Baby steps. It's almost there. <laughs> 